Here in, the, in Khalifa University, we have a team of researchers that we have been working on the mathematical modeling of the COVID-19 outbreak. What we aim at achieving with this work is to predict uh, how will be the impact of doing different types of interventions. For example, the level of social isolation, how uh, isolated are people from each other, other important things like the level of use of personal protective equipment, whether people are wearing masks or not everywhere, whether they are keeping the social distance, these kind of attitudes, how could that impact the, the outbreak. Other things like the availability of intensive care um, beds and things like the amount of number of tests that are being conducted on the population. We're trying to basically understand how those actions will impact the spread of the virus and the eventual number of, of fatalities uh, at, at the end of the outbreak. So what the model does, it basically distributes the population in different compartments or groups based on their situation in the infection stage. So a member of the population could be at the moment healthy or could be already infected having no symptoms or infected showing some symptoms. The next level would be the hospitalization of that individual and then eventually could be the critical condition of that individual. So we describe those uh, dynamics according to those variables in, in the model we're working. We have additionally developed a website version of the model, a simplified version, that is intended for the public to, to, to try themselves. So you, anyone can uh, go on the website and input some of the parameters for the interventions and you could see what, what is the impact that those have on the curves of uh, critical cases, fatalities over time, etc. So this is uh, intended for educational purposes.